what is up it's your girl reese and welcome back to my space if you're new welcome if you're old thank you for rocking with me for another week today we are doing a jewelry video another installment of my fine jewelry journey so if you guys are new here i have recently started my fine jewelry journey and we are embarking on this journey together i'm learning i'm collecting it's a slow burn but we're doing it together Today, I am sharing with you guys five pieces of jewelry that are timeless that you will not regret buying. Now, I really think the jewelry is very much a personal journey. So for me, it's been a lot about discovering what I like, what I don't like. And unfortunately, jewelry, fine jewelry is not a, a, a cheap hobby. So, you know, the trial and errors can be a little bit expensive. For instance, I have discovered that I am not a dainty kind of girl. I don't like the minimalism jewelry for the most part, like most days of the week. That's not my vibe. But I did spend a lot of money figuring this out because I thought that, you know, this sweet little thin stacking rings and stuff were were my vibe. And I, I've learned that they're not. I'm a little bit more of a statement jewelry kind of girl, a little bit more of a maximalist but that was trial and error. So let's get into the video, five pieces of jewelry that you will absolutely not regret purchasing that will be timeless. And we're starting strong with the tennis bracelet right here. I am wearing a tennis bracelet on my right wrist uh, for my little stack and I love it. This is one of the newer additions to my jewelry collection. So the tennis bracelet, a little history lesson, it actually was called the diamond line bracelet and it, made its debut into the world in the 1920s, but it didn't really get its claim to fame until the 1970s when a tennis player, Chris Ebert, I believe that's her name, she was playing in the US Open and was really climbing the ranks of tennis. And uh, she was really getting looks at and attention for one, her athletic ability and her absolutely killing it, but two, her style and her diamond line bracelet. So during her claim to fame in the 70s, they changed, or I guess it adopted its nickname, Tennis Bracelet, and now we call it a Tennis Bracelet and no longer call it the Diamond Line Bracelet. So, little history lesson, that's super cute. Actually, there is a brand, I can't remember the name of it, but I'll post it up on the screen when I edit this, that actually does the ode to Chris Everett. Um, Chris Everett? 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 Chris Everett, uh, where they do a diamond tennis bracelet and then they have a little charm at the end of it with a little diamond tennis ball which I think is super super cute like a good little ode to the origin the origin of the nickname which is now the name <laughs> isn't that crazy but yeah so the diamond tennis bracelet I just think is I mean it stood the test of time it's been around since the 20s and still in today's day and age it's so popular it's just a beautiful statement piece of jewelry that also is not overly loud you can wear it all day all night you can stack it like i'm doing here but you could also wear it as a statement by itself it comes in all shapes and sizes i think traditionally it was like a brilliant cut diamond with the four prongs but now there's so many different ways you see the tennis bracelet um, like i said other metals um other diamond cuts, I've seen a marquee, a baguette, like so many different styles or like a mix of gemstones and diamonds, like so many different things. So no matter who you are, you can find a tennis bracelet that is perfect for you. And I mean, the timeless part of it is that it's stood the test of time. It's been around for a hundred years now. And I feel like it's going to be around forever. I absolutely love it. I can't get enough of it girl tennis bracelet is a yes for me a yes for me every time up next is the stud earrings specifically the diamond stud earring but let's talk about studs there is a reason that this is the first piece of jewelry that you have in your ear when you get your ear pierced it's not a coincidence okay it is such a classic timeless piece and goes with literally everything whether it's day to night work or play the gym a yoga, anything you do, when you add a little sparkle, that little diamond set into your ear, it just kind of polishes the look off. It goes with all hairstyles. I love that part too so, so much. I mean, when I have my hair down and like happen to flick it back and you get a just a little hit of the sparkle, I love that. Or when I have my hair sleek, pulled back into a perfectly stiff 
bun or something and then I get the little stud in my ear it's just so polished like th that's my favorite word to describe a diamond stud earring is that it's polished again comes in all shapes and sizes right now actually I'm not wearing that those ones but um I have I think four diamond studs in my ear and three of them are brilliant cut actually no I have five diamond studs in my ear three are brilliant cut one's a pear and one's a marquee yeah so all shapes and sizes for whatever you like or whatever ear hole you're putting it in. It's the fact that even men love a diamond stud. Everybody loves a diamond stud. It is universal. It's for everybody and absolutely a piece that you will not regret buying and will stand the test of time in your jewelry box. Up next is my favorite. My absolute favorite. I'm wearing one. Hoops. <laughs> Hoops. Now... How I was speaking to studs and diamond studs to say they're so polished, what I think describes a hoop best is that it's a little bit edgy. Now, all shapes and sizes of hoops. I love a huggy. I love the big statement hoops. I love a medium size hoop that I can wear every single day. What I think a pair of hoops brings to your whole look is that perfect little attitude and edge. And you know, there are just days that a hoop is it. Like you need to throw on a pair of hoops because you gotta give a little, a little sass, you know? And those days you need to put on a pair of hoops. And like I said, they come in all shapes and sizes. I have so many hoops in my collection. And of course I started my hoop collection with costume jewelry and now I'm collecting hoops, uh, fine hoops. And I don't think I'll ever stop collecting hoop earrings because they just, fit my moods, all my different moods for all different times of day. Like I said, I have huggies, I have hoops that are appropriate for all day for the office. I have like big, big fun hoops for evening times, like just for all of my moods. <laughs> they are absolutely forever, forever. All right, up next is the pendant. Now, this is something that I kind of struggle with personally. I haven't really found my footing on what I really love to wear around my neck. Like I love that some people have learned or have love layering necklaces and stuff. But for me, I've just, for a very long time, I've never wore anything around my neck. And right now I'm kind of trying to figure out what I love to wear. So with a little trial and error, I realized that I really love a pendant and I love them because they're so customizable to the person. Like I had a phase where, and the phase is still on, just so you know, but I had a phase where I was really obsessed with like initial pendants. So I have a couple costume ones, like the Celine bamboo pen pendant. I have that. I have this little diamond W for my last name. I love it so much. Like I really love the initial letter uh pendants it's it's personal you know it's for your name or whomever you're wearing it to represent i love the the moms or the parents who have their kids initials on their on their necklace those pendants i just i think they're beautiful and then it doesn't have to just be that you know i see pendants with um zodiac signs or pendants where people engrave words into them there's just so many options and it's so personal and like i said at the beginning of this video i think jewelry is such a personal journey that i love to see people wear pendants i love to see the story behind their pendant because nine times out of ten it's really that i love when people are wearing lockets that pendant where they can keep even more personal things in their necklace it's just so so beautiful and personal and usually comes with a story and i love all of those experiences, whether I'm telling them based on mine or I'm asking people about their pendants and, and they share these like beautiful, wonderful stories. It's very few times though that happens and there's nothing wrong with that. People are like, oh, I just like this, so I bought it. Like a lot of the time it's, there's a story behind it. So I love that. Maybe the experience makes me love that piece more. And then lastly on my list, we are at the end already. We have a paper clip chain now this is not a new thing these chains like the curb chain the box chain the paper clip chain all these chains have been around forever but i feel like the curb chain or i feel like the paper clip chain has made a fierce comeback recently it's very very in and uh, what i love about it is that it's not so gaudy because for me 
where everywhere else I know I'm a lot more of a maximalist and not a minimalist with my neck I'm still trying to figure it out so I love that the paperclip chain doesn't have to be so like chunky and gaudy where it's like such a statement every single time worn alone it very much speaks for itself but also is not overpowering which I really like and then recently I have found that people have been wearing their paperclip chains and adding these like uh, I, I know there's this there's a name for it. Let me look for the name a claw cl a clasp Maybe I don't know. I don't know, but uh, it's basically I'll find pictures <laughs> To post up, but it's basically like an addition that you can add to your paperclip chain and then you can add Various pendants to it and I love this look. I haven't started this for myself yet But I think eventually I will I absolutely adore it though. I think it's so cute because um, you can layer your pendants, you know, it, you can make it extremely personal. The clasp itself also, I've seen it in so many different shapes and sizes with like um, paw bay diamonds all over them or like different shapes, not just like the traditional clasp shape, but like a heart one instead or, you know, like it's just endless. And I think it's so cute. It looks so good and it's timeless because you can look back on it at the collection of pendants that you've added to this chain this paper clip chain and look at like what you've built it's almost like a charm bracelet but in a necklace i guess and and then if you don't want to wear it that way you can wear it without so yeah i feel like that is just a piece that is absolutely timeless and has so many different ways to wear it so it'll go with you and grow with you in your different waves of life and i love that i absolutely love that anyways that's it for me i hope you guys enjoyed the video let me know in the comments below which is your absolute favorite piece of jewelry that you think is 100% timeless and will never ever go out of style let me know in the comments below and I will see you guys next video